Hey guys, and welcome back to another tutorial video. Uh, Silent on here, and today I will be showing you how to set up a pretty, pretty cool, fully automatic scrapping system. Uh, I did go the extra mile, and I did upset up the, the the refreshing system and all that, whatever. Um, so first of all, I'm going to show you how to set up. I did rig this up to our recycler system that is currently powered, because it'd be a lot easier to set up. So you remember the old system, everything up from the diamond chest back. Uh, I did rid the other diamond chest and rerouted all the ones into the singular uh, diamond chest, so just for um, showing you how to do this. Um, so you'll see here that it's still producing scrap as usual. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to start showing you how to make the automatic scrapping system. Basically what this is going to do is we're going to take the scrap that's produced, turn it into scrap boxes, cast the scrap box, like as you normally would know how to, if you don't know how the scrap boxing works, nine scrap make a scrap box, and you can right click to generate a random item. So you see here, I'm right clicking, I'm generating random items, and a set list of items that can actually generate from, uh, um, you know, from the what from these scrap boxes, so you can generate a lot of different stuff from a lot of different dusts to random items like batteries and machine parts to um, scrap and whatnot. Um, so basically, you have a oh wow, that's a lot of generator power off scrapping. I didn't know that. Um, I I knew you could do it, but I th I thought it was a lot less than that. Anywho, um, so scrap boxing. Um, okay, so you, like I said, you have to make you make it out of nine. Um, nine scrap here so we'll throw the scrap that I generated uh, so you'll, we'll go ahead and we'll use our good old fabricator to automatically craft the craft these scrap boxes um, from whatever as, as they come into here as the scrap boxes come into the chest the, the fabricator will grab out the scrap and make them into scrap boxes uh, next we need to pump you need to be able to pump out the uh, scrap boxes somehow so we're just using our standard wooden pipe with a, um, a standard wooden pipe with a knot with a knot gate on it because it's really simple really to, really easy to make and easy to set up and that gate will pump into what we call a deployer. Now this deployer will take any item in its inventory. It'll take the item next item in its inventory and right click it basically forward on the, the open spot ahead of it. And with the with the scrap box, since the scrap box is obviously to, um, you right click it and that's how it work, functions, you can use it to right click forward um, any scrap. See how it's actually ejecting the scrap box with the item itself, um, and then the item falls down. So this is how we're gonna this is how we're gonna actually scrap the box. Um, and you can see now the setup down here. There's a it's a little one by one by one by two um, little hole here. So they can't shoot up and they can't shoot out, but they can shoot down. They fall down onto what we call an obsidian pipe. An obsidian pipe will pick up any item inside of its hitbox and suck it into the pipe system. So we're doing that and we suck it into the pipe system here. Um, you can see here if I break down, I'm gonna end up picking up a few items for the way it shoots up. But that's not a problem. Um, so it's gonna block it and it sucks it into a gold pipe. The gold pipe's irrelevant. Um, I like to put a gold pipe underneath before we hit the little sort of, uh, sorting filter system, just because it allows the item to be sped up a little bit, um, so it's not moving ridiculously slow through the system. It actually speeds the item up a little bit. Um, so it hits the gold pipe, and then it goes into the filtration system. Now, the filtration system is basically a few diamond pipes um, that run into another gold pipe at the end. So basically, this is a filter system. The item will come through here uh, and be filtered out if it's a bad item. Otherwise, it'll come to the end, go up the golden pipe, and then into the chest here. So you can see here we have a ridiculous amount of items in this chest right now. Um, yeah, so we have a ridiculous amount of items in that chest right now, and that's because we don't really have anything filtered right now. Uh, basically, so anything you want to have filtered, uh, you want to want to make it go red. So basically, when you first set up the filter, my my advice is to take a random item, and whatever depending uh, depending on whatever color is going to be the way you're filtering, you want to put a junk item in there. So like basically, like take like a, like a really dumb item like an ender chest or wrench or something that's never going to be filtered out and never ever be seen in the pipe system and put it in the red to block every item from ever going red so you can get all the items to traffic every item including ones you don't want right away into the diamond chest now what this will allow you to do is get everything into the diamond chest first um, and then you can go in here and like say then you can actually see what everything is being generated and then you can go in here and say okay I don't want wooden swords I don't want shovels I don't want wooden axes um, I don't want wooden hose. So then I can go take all these items, go over to the filter filter system over here, and put them into the filter like this. So we put in the shovel, the hoe, and the wooden sword. Now this should automatically... Oh, and I think we still need the axe too, right? Um, did I not grab an axe? I did grab... Okay. And the wooden axe. Now this will no, now this will filter out all wooden tools, the scrap uh, to be re-scrapped, um, well, right now the scrap isn't actually being re-scrapped. We would want to put another diamond pipe somewhere else to be scrapped. Um, so you can send the scrap to be reinserted into this system here. So you'd probably want to put a pipe here. 
that would connect here, say like another a filter here that would say if it's, um, like say basically, okay, so well actually I'll do that right here, it'll be really quick here. Um, basically we'll go like this. Uh, so if an item comes in here, we're going to open this up and say if it's scrap, go red, like that, and otherwise go yellow. So then we're going to add some uh, other pipes here, and like so, and, and then we'll just route this all the way over to here. Um, obviously, you could use an ender chest to make this a lot easier too, so it would like automatically um, go. So if we do this, we keep going like this all the way down, like that. Now it'll take all the scrap that uh, if it's scrap, send it back to be re-scrapped um, and back into the system. Otherwise, take it and uh, put it into this system here. Otherwise, it's going to follow down the line. As you use, you know, we used our our wrench to set the pipe to set, uh, to set the pipe um, direction here for the iron pipe. So anything that comes in the filter will always go one way. Um, so this is why you want to make this nice and long though, because in case, or once you hit like the max row of red sorting, you go to the next one, and then you set that one up. And then you go to the next one, set that one up. And then go to the next one, set that one up. And you can make this as long as you need to, and or you can start adding item pipes like up above too, and sort them multi-directional, and then route them around. Really easy. So basically now at the end of this routing system, you can see here, I actually have a switch, basically. Where you can go of three different ways. Basically, you can go backwards, which you'd never want to do because you create a like a bulk in the pipe. Or you could do, or you can set it to a void pipe, which if anything is sent to the void pipe. So say you don't want your scrapper system sending anything to be re-scrapped. You just want it to be destroyed afterwards. You can just spin it to the void pipe, um, and it'll destroy everything, and you'll never have anything put back into the scrapping system. But say you want everything to go and back and be re -scrapped. any junk that you didn't want so, or stored and kept, you want to be re-scrapped. Well, then you're going to go like this. You're going to set it to the, the ender chest. And I have this ender, ender chest set up on the other side as well. It's a really simple system. Just an ender chest tied with a wooden, say our, our standard wooden pipe uh, with the aught gate on it. And it pumps into the system here where it goes into the, the main filtration system. Um, where all the extruders are. It just kind of goes into that train line of items and then right back into the scrapper system. And that's how you'll um, take any item that you don't want automatically filtered to get filtered. And then next, um, like I said, then basically that's all you have to do. And then you can go back into here and then you go through basically and then any item, you kind of just kind of pick out the items that you do want to keep and don't want to keep. Um, and the items that you do want to keep, leave out of the filter. And the items that you don't want anymore, just put into the filter. Um, and that's the easiest thing about this too, is you ever want to filter out um, something else new or take something out of the filter so you get it again. Like say you don't want something for a while. So say, say I want um, redstone right now. And I get a bunch of redstone, and then I don't want it anymore, so I can put it into the filter. But then I want redstone again, so I can take it right out of the filter, no problem, and it'll immediately start filling in. Uh, my recommendation for a lot of these items, um, I would get rid of plant, unless you have a use for plant balls. I mean, depending on what you're doing, I mean, you could probably use a plant ball. Otherwise, i get rid of rotten flesh, um, pumpkins. Uh, you can probably get, gather up some machine parts for a while. I'll keep all the dust, like silver dust, iron dust. All your standard dust are good. Uh, silicon cells are really good if you're going solar panels. Um, I would get rid of the food because this stuff builds up tremendously. So I'd get rid of the pork chop steaks, and I mean you could use it to get some of it, and then you have it stored up, and then just get rid of it. Uh, but it stores up really, really fast. Um, you want to get rid of the scrap and rescrap that, obviously. Uh, some of this is really good to get. The block standard blocks are good to get unless you're you know filled up on them. I get rid of the signs for sure. Uh, the cells, depending. I mean the empty cells are really, really good to get if you need empty cells. Uh, probably get rid of the water cells though, uh, unless you want them. I mean like I said, this is all your choice. You can set the filter up to be anything you'd like to be. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. It's really, really simple to set up. Just grab yourself a fabricator. Fabricator crafts your scrap boxes. Pump the scrap boxes into a deployer with a timer. I forgot to mention the timer. You need the timer because that's what's going to pulse um, the redstone onto the deployer and give you uh, your scrap box deployments. Um, so to make a little uh, box frame like this, uh, just a really simple grid, making a 1x1x2 one by, one by hole. So everything uh, gets items and drops, drops it onto obsidian pipe. That goes into a nice diamond or a diamond pipe filtration system, and you can set it up just like this. Um, a lot of this should probably be like um, hidden. Like this system is probably going to be hidden behind your back walls or something like that, so no one will actually ever see this stuff. Um, this could obviously be under chested or routed under as well, and make it look nicer. But basically, you could have like say a wall right here, like this, where all they would see is this. Or you could put the pipe to the back, and then maybe like that, or whatever however you want to do it. You could do it like this. Um, you know, insert the pretend this is a different block. You can do it like this, and then I guess you can't do that. I don't have the chest. But yeah, that's how you set it up, guys. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. Hope this, uh, I hope this tutorial video helped you. Um, uh, as always, there'll be links in the description for the Twitter, YouTube, and my live stream if you ever want to check me live. Uh, all the uh, good stuff. You guys know the routine, and um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something, and until the next tutorial, guys, take her easy.